I said, any, many, many, mo, how many hoes in the club when I got, I know, you see it, I know, you see it. Hey y'all, so I am back home. Just um I I went to Starbucks, grabbed a coffee, and came straight back home because I needed to edit the vlog that I am so it will be last week's vlog. Yeah, when you see this one. Um, so I'm uploading it tomorrow or tonight. So it can be available Tuesday morning. Um, so I grabbed the coffee and then came straight home to do that. Um, here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm busy doing. Oh my God. It just, it takes forever to edit. And and find really good music I get some lighting in this house um yeah it, it, the editing process and finding like good music that's like copyright free um is just it's like it takes forever but um because I have to find the music then upload it to YouTube to see if I don't get flagged and then once I get the the confirmation that the checks are done and no um, copyright notice, then I can attach it to my vlog. Um, I don't want to be flagged, obviously. So that is what takes forever. Um, so, but I have gone and and uh, um, edited the whole vlog and attached a song. So I'm about to upload it or save it uh, for upload. And then, um, yeah, I need to do these nails because this one is coming off. It's popped off. Um, and a couple other ones on my other hand. So I need to figure out a way to do that. Um, I want to actually do also my makeup because I need to take a picture for my thumbnail for this vlog. Um, I was planning on going for lunch. Um, afterwards so let me see how am I going to be able to do that oh that today I may just upload this vlog um, and then what time is it it's 11 30 right now oh Jesus uh, once I get it uploaded I'll probably go do my makeup and then just you know put some pants on and head on to lunch and after that I'll probably pick up my son from school and the nails can be done later I probably would try to do it tonight Sounds like a plan to me. Sounds good in my head. But who knows how it's going to turn out. Because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Let me get to doing that. And I'll catch y'all later. Okay. So I just finished recording a tutorial for TikTok. Did my makeup. And it's all for the thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing nothing. But I think my makeup looks cute. <laughs> I said, any, many, many, mo, how many hoes in the club when I got a dog? You see it? I know. You see it? <laughs> Feeling myself, obviously. And um, my thing is, look at that. 
Really, this is gonna be an all day affair. An all day affair. Mm hmm. Yeah. The struggles of vlogging. I wish y'all knew. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to figure out what to cook for my baby before I go pick him up. And yum. But I know you see it though. Face card. No, seriously. I don't wake up. I don't wear makeup as much as I used to. But when I put it on, honey. We're going to look good. We're going to look good every time. Every time. And we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, let's cook. Oh, I don't know what I need to cook today, but I feel like I'm going to do some chicken. Chicken. Hmm. Or maybe meatballs. I don't know. Whichever is quicker. I might do meatballs and pasta. Let's go for it.
Good morning. Well, today is Saturday. I haven't vlogged all week. Um, my week has. I'm not even gonna say nothing about that. Y'all know what it is. But um, it's Saturday morning. I uh, got my. I ordered my groceries last night from the H E B, and they just got delivered. <laughs> Yeah, they just got delivered and I, I'm missing a couple of pieces. See, that's the thing about ordering groceries online. It's always something missing. I ordered three packs of 24 pack waters and they only gave me one. So I just called their customer service and sat on hold for 10 minutes. She isn't too bad. But they're finally going to deliver it within an hour because I need my water. But anyway, I'm putting up these groceries now. groceries um that was a task and i like to like separate all my meats um if i buy like the family value sizes i break them up into separate pieces for so that when i put it in the freezer i don't have to like thaw it all out and then cut a piece off so i just kind of break them according to the size um the family size in this case me and my baby uh, and then I store that accordingly so that way I don't have to kind of mess with the meat later on and then for the fruit I try to wash them uh, when I do get them um, but a lot of times you know we get busy and I forget I don't do it I just I don't forget I just don't do it then I wash when I'm ready to eat it but it's better to wash the groceries and put them up and the veggies and put them up washed and ready to go um, it saves time and it makes it helps the veggies and the fruits last longer um, it's something I'm still working on getting in the habit of doing um, so now I'm drinking some tea today's uh, I had coffee earlier and um, we just had a little breakfast and eggs and stuff. But just now, I just felt like I needed some tea. Plus, I need to take my probiotic and uh, I like to take it after I eat something. Along with um, my, um, what else? The, um, show you what I take okay so I'm getting in the habit of taking apple cider in the morning to like control my gut health and so I discovered that they actually have them in a pill version in capsule state and so yeah <laughs> yes for that um, because drinking the apple cider in the morning child mm -mm, it is not the business and then I um, also take floral brush it's like an internal deodorant for you know your body just 
kind of helps you with body odor and stuff like that. So I'll take one as well in the morning. And I also take Femdophilus probiotic for um or probiotic supplement for um it helps with vaginal and urinary tract health so i'm 40 now and i kind of like to keep that area fresh and ready to go after having a baby and just just be fresh you know what i'm saying yeah so those three things every day and i also do take vitamins um it's just in my um, other room. But I take that as well every morning. For, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get him back in shape. I'm trying to kind of do some stretching. Start small with stretching. And then maybe just like sit ups and stuff like that to get my core a little stronger and toned. So it's a process. But we'll get that done. So today, I am so happy, like, today is, I found a sitter for my baby, a permanent sitter that comes, every, you know, every other week, canned to keep him and watch him while I do me. <laughs> oh my god, it's been a long time coming. He's turning three in exactly 15 days, and, um... I really, it, it's time, it's time. Like I've been on the go for the past three years, just handling it, doing my thing, single mom thing, uh, moving across country, cross country twice, all by myself with him. And, you know, being, being in this position that's been, it's a dream come true, but also, um, challenging and um that requires a lot of my dedication to it and doing it well at the same time it's just it's it's i'm blessed i'm beyond blessed i'm happy and this really tops it all so i'm ready for her to start today she's gonna start at 11 a.m and from 11 to 6 like we have like schedule going I mean it kind of fluctuates but I'll have like seven hours six hours free of baby to do things that I actually really want to do so I'm not even sure what I want to do today because I'm so used uh, to being around him and doing things with him so it's gonna be quite a bit of an adjustment about how hard it is to find a sitter in Houston. I don't know if any of you guys that follow me are from Houston, but um, when I was in Seattle, for example, when you get on those apps like the care.com and all those like people that do babysitting in Seattle or nanny jobs, like it's serious business. Like they're focused. They want to do it. And a lot of them are like in grad school and do PhD, like if that's what they're doing, or even like have real serious and corporate jobs and are doing, are doing babysitting on the side. Like they're serious about this. And then now switch to Houston. Like it's been months that I've been trying to get one, and I tried Care.com. Everybody's so flaky. Like they don't come when they're supposed to come. They come and you agree to something and they don't show up the day they're supposed to start or you message them they don't respond um, or they're just non-punctual and it's been quite a challenge and this is the first time I've had a smooth conversation and process of getting a babysitter and it has been flawless so I'm hoping that she is it, and uh, my son loves her, and then it's gonna be yeah, a, a good relationship because I am tired of this process. I hate this process. I can't. I cannot. And then the rates here 
I'm kind of exceeding y'all. I'm like, what the fuck? Excuse my language, but mm -mm, I don't get it. This world has changed quite a lot, okay? But yeah, that's the good news. I finally have a, some help. Hey, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you trying to destroy my house? No way, no way, no. Don't do all that. No, no. Mm -mm. What did I just say? You see, you see why I need help. I need a break. So I'll find something to do. <laughs> yeah, but if I end up doing something, you'll probably see it on this vlog. Okay, so I am about to head on to my sister's house to return a few of her things that I've had since I moved back to Houston. Like a ladder, her mop, and a bit of a few other things in the back there. Um, I just need to return. I'm gonna do that and then I'll go to probably Whole Foods uh, to grab a soup uh, for my bestie who is not feeling well. So I'm gonna go, go drop it off as well and maybe grab a drink on the way back home. Um. So the nanny's here and she was successful in getting my baby to sleep take a nap yeah so that is i'm like woohoo yeah it's lord so now i'm about to take advantage of that since he's pretty much liking her uh, uh, And just step away let them connect um, without me in the picture and then I'll come back in a couple of hours and see what's going on one two lost in my brain but nothing sounds the same help me find a way to get out of my brain before I start to break Looking for change, yeah Might need to stop holding in the streets Might need a little moment for me I'm down for whatever Suggestions of the weather And my breath Might need a little shorty on me Might need to refocus my dream I'm down for whatever Suggestions of the weather And my breath I need my breath Nothing sounds the same no more Nothing feels the same no more Hey y'all, so I have a reservation for a late lunch. It is Sunday. But I am late as usual. Let me finish this up and I'll come back. 
Okay, makeup is done. Just gonna do the finishing touches. Um, these earrings are from Amazon. And I didn't do any lashes today. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Um, I'm gonna go, let's see. I'm gonna go get dressed real quick and I'll show you how to fit. Okay, so this is the fit. Shoes are shoots. Jeans are Target. This um, vest is Sincerely Jewels. This belt is Zara. Jewelry is made well. Earrings from um, Amazon. And um, I'm going to actually also carry, I'm going to carry my Chanel with this. I love to mix um, metals, so I did silver shoes and everything else has gold in it. So that is the look. And for fragrance. Almost forgot. I'm gonna do Suntal 33. The one I just bought. Yes. It smells so good. And that is the whole fit. I'll see if I can get some footage from where I'm going, but yeah, that's it. with the hookah I'm sick of it like can we just get back to enjoying each other enjoying the music and having a ball without just sitting around smoking hookah like leave hookah to the people that invented it unpopular opinion but that's real I'm serious not every establishment Needs hookah. Seriously. And I'm sticking by that. Drop the damn hookah. Uh -uh. I'm 
seriously, like, oh, jeez. Oh, but anyway, I had fun, none of this. Um, I met up with my sister. She came through. We had a couple of drinks, and that was cool. Um, but yeah, that was like, let me know what y'all think about this, what I just said. Like, hookah or no hookah, because it's, it's getting out of control. It's like every establishment in order to be trendy, like they're trying to be trendy, and hookah. Like decide if you want to be a restaurant, a fucking lounge, a bar, a music venue, or not. Like, you don't need hookah everywhere. Damn. I'm just saying. Let me know your thoughts. I would like to know what you think about it. So anyway, um, I'm going to end this vlog on a positive note. My son likes his new sitter. They've had quite a lot of fun. And she's actually been able and she managed to get him to go potty. Something I've been struggling with for the past couple of months. Okay, he's going to be three uh, this month. And I've been trying to get him to go potty before he turns three. But it's been a nightmare. And she comes in and she's just whoops. <laughs> and gets him to do it. So she set like a timer, like a 30 minutes or 40 minutes timer uh, to where he recognizes that every when that noise comes on, he needs to go to the restroom and do his thing. And he's been doing it, y'all. I like her so far. What do you do? The first weekend has been very good. Okay, I have it's been worry free um, and just really good. So I'll leave it at that and I'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs>